Hello, my name is Max. Um, welcome to this tutorial for lead generation system for to using Popsicle and Sheet.Best. Um, my name is Max. I'm here to actually to introduce you to how to create a lead generation system to grab data from LinkedIn and after that convert it and com uh, convert it and store it in Google Spreadsheet. So this is actually how it looks like on a whole basis. So initially, we we'll start off with just an initial database. Uh, it can be Excel, it can be anything, and then you will be calling Popsicle, which will call the server, Popsicle server, to actually pull data either through their own server or through LinkedIn directly. Once actually the Popsicle actually gotten the data, you will you will actually return it to you. Then you through you cheat out there which is a middleman that helps to interact with the Google spreadsheet and you push that data and store that store that data into the Google Sheet file. So that's actually what you'll be doing for this portion. So I'll be covering three portions. The first portion will be how do you set up in terms of getting the environment variables. Number two is how to grab the data through using Popsicle. Number three is to store the data that, is, that you have grabbed from Popsicle and save it into the Google Spreadsheet. All right. So before that, we'll be start on with the first one, which is how to set up. The first thing that you need to have is actually you need to create two accounts, as well as a Google Spreadsheet for you to play around with. I'll just show it to you on how it looks like. Okay. All right. Okay. So. This is actually a uh, standardized uh, Google spreadsheet. Uh, nothing, nothing different, nothing serious. Uh, I'll be actually, you'll be able to clone it from my repo through the articles that is accompanied with it, with it. So the most important thing for Google spreadsheet, especially to, for integration with sheets.pass, is through by sharing your your Google spreadsheet uh, public link. So when you share, initially you will be um, you will be restricted to only just a few people by yourself or someone else. From your end, you need to change it to actually allow it for anyone, as well as you need to change it to allow to be a editor, so that when you when you actually provide the connection, provide cop copy this thing to to uh, to sheet dot best, the API is able to save data and also as it is able to pull data from your Google spreadsheet so that's the reason why you need to do that okay so you need to copy this link and you then create a sheets.best account all right which is this so once you actually create it you really need a google account for you to actually do get started so one for me I actually created it in beforehand so you just need to go to here and you'll be greeted with just a simple connection screen so remember the the Google spreadsheet URL link from here you just click on new connection then you actually add in the connection name for my case I'll just put it simply with the popsicle database and then I'll actually select Google Spreadsheet for sheet out best that it provides three types of connections or integrations. One is Google Spreadsheet, two is Google Drive, third third one is actually you uploading Excel CSV file into the into these into their server and you will do the processing for the end. So to make it easy, we just start off with just uh, with just Google Spreadsheet from our end. Alright? So let's go back to getting the connection URL so share confirming that it's actually you can it's um, the permissions editor you can copy this link and you paste it here once you actually paste it just click connect you will generate a AP, uh, a API URL for you actually for you to interact with it oh. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I selected the wrong one. It should be Google Spreadsheet. 
Okay, I just click connect. And it should work. Yeah, so once you're done, you just need to click on this in terms of details. It will show you what over here connection URL. This is actually where you'll be using this URL for you to call, put requests, get requests, patch, and various API uh, CRUDs request operations through calling this. So, from your end, uh, once you actually, I presume that you actually down, you have cloned my repo project, which you have a a file uh, a project file like this as well as environment so you need to actually create your own environment variable uh, environment file dot env file and you need to copy this url and paste it over here yeah so that's done uh, that is what you need to do um, for sheet.best for this project repo you because um, you can read the read.me md it over here it actually tells you all about the information of what what's what's in here what are various things that you need to do you need uh what are things that you need to install for working with proxical and sheet out best all right okay so for this uh for this tutorial we'll be just be um, making changes to final.py all right okay so this is for now this is you're done with sheet.bash now we will move on to creating account as well as going to the popsicle to get an api api key so that you can